All right, one person who idolized Michael Jordan was Michael Phelps. Uh, and I think it worked out pretty well for Michael Phelps, who went on to become uh, the most decorated Olympic athlete in the history of the games. 28 total medals, 23 gold medals, widely regarded as the greatest swimmer of all time. And in a new interview, he says, look, uh, I modeled myself, my workouts after Michael Jordan, from the work ethic all the way to the way he treated his teammates. And he used a word that I thought was very interesting, a word that is, is mentioned a lot in The Last Dance. It's a word that I can't say without being bleeped, but it's another way of uh, identifying a, a part of your bottom, let's say. Um, and Michael Jordan was called that by a lot of people because of the way he treated his teammates. And Michael Phelps now says in this new interview with Yahoo Sports that I treated my teammates, I pushed them the same way because I wanted to get the most out of them. So here is Michael Phelps explaining why he modeled his behavior after Michael Jordan in the pool and outside of it. That was the guy I wanted to be. I wanted to do in swimming what he did in the sport of basketball. It's it's pretty wild watching him in this documentary because there are so many similarities to me and I guess to put it quite blunt, um, everyone's saying he was an but I, I, I would say the same thing about myself. I was when I was training because I wanted, I wanted to help everybody make sure they had the same exact chance that I had. We're all in there working together as a team, even though it's an individual sport. Like we want, we want the best for each other. So I'm gonna challenge them and I'm gonna make sure that they're, they're getting stress in practice that they're gonna face in a meet. I, I gotta be honest with you. I know that Michael Phelps was intense, but I never heard other swimmers refer to Michael Phelps in the same way that other teammates of Michael Jordan refer to Michael Jordan. Am I wrong on that? Yeah, I know I, I hadn't heard that either. And uh, for me, I always think of a swimming as sort of like an individual sport and not a team sport, but it, that's not true. It, it is a team sport or relays and stuff. Um, but it, it makes sense because I think you have to have that mindset. If you don't have that mindset, all of these people are physically gifted, but if you don't have that killer mindset that Michael Jordan had and that Michael Phelps obviously had, I don't think you can you can but, touch but, but not like everybody that. reacts to getting pushed and treated that particular way. And, and I understand what yeah. Michael Phelps is saying that that was the way he thought he could get the most out of his teammates. And Michael Jordan says that's the way he felt he could get the most out of his teammates. But I know it was effective for them, but I, I, I would hate to see everybody else just start kind of replicating that behavior because like, oh, Michael Jordan was a jerk to his teammates. Maybe I'll just be a jerk to my coworker. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't work for yeah, everybody. Look, I don't think what? it works in an office setting, but I think when you're talking about athletics on the highest level, I think if you're somebody who can't take that criticism, then either your, your ass is going to get rolled over or, or like move to the side. You have to be willing to take that, especially when you have somebody where there's greatness on your team, where there is Michael Phelps, the greatest swimmer ever, like get with it or move to the side and go find something else to do. I think it does work in athletics at the highest level. I think the common denominator is you can be that word that Evan can't say is if you're really good, you know, <laughs> if, you're, if you're really, really good at whatever you're doing. And I guess that goes not just for sports, but just for life. Uh, the better you are, uh, the worst person you, you can be, basically. So I don't think if you're the, the swimmer that's coming in fifth place and then you're trying to motivate your teammates, anybody's going to listen to you. You know, if you're the guy that's only getting eight minutes on the bench and you're over there talking about, come on, guys, I, I just nobody well, going to tune you out. Well, so the common denominator is if you're very, very good, you can pretty much get away with everything, honestly, and, so, so, and nobody's so, going to say anything. So let me, let me ask you another question. Why does Terrell Owens get so much crap for the way he acted? I mean, the guy acted in a similar way from everything I read. He, he pushed his Because he's not a quarterback. He's not a quarterback. So but he, he, was a, he was trying to be a leader. He was trying to be a leader. Any wide receiver, it's not just Terrell Owens. Any wide receiver that's acted similarly to Terrell Owens, no matter how talented they are, gets the same type of, you know, pushback. But if is he was a fair? quarterback, is that fair though, because Terrell's argument would be, "Hey, man, I was just trying to push my teammates so they could be the best." Well, but I mean, you, gotta, you have to see. There has to be a. You have to distinguish between uh, ripping your your teammates in the media and doing things that come off as divisive, as opposed to pushing somebody. I, I think I don't. I think never heard a story about Terrell did. Owens. I never heard a story about Terrell Owens pushing punching another teammate in the mouth. Have you? No, <laughs> hey, look, here's that, the difference. Not, that, let, that, let me that. tell you what the difference is, right? Jerry Rice and Terrell Owens were not that much different. And you can ask teammates uh, of Jerry Rice about this. Yeah. But Jerry Rice just has the rings. 
he, he's won the championship. He's the greatest of all time. So nobody really talks about that type of competitiveness and that type of, you know, being pissed off when you're not getting enough balls. It's all about if you win and if you are a champion or you're the top line of your thing, then people will conveniently forget it. I'm, I'm just saying. That's, what I, that's, that's how I feel about this one.